The following organizations have provided funding for this Into the Outdoors television series. Man, what's for lunch? I am starving. Oh, um, processed food and more processed food. Sodium benzenate, potassium sorbate. Man, how many chemicals are in this? Oh, barf. No. Sorry, Sad. Whoa, your family's into shooting sports? Yeah, my dad loves to go hunting with his parents, and then we have a huge dinner afterwards. Morgan, that's it. We could do the same thing and become locavores. Oh yeah, we can live off the land and collect wild sustainable food that is actually good for you. Yeah, and how about you? How do you think you do in shooting sports? And share the bounty of nature with your family. I'm so down for that. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, Seth, let's go. I think it's this way. Oh, is that the place? Yeah, it is. All right, let's go. Good morning. Welcome to the DNR. How can I help you? We are on a quest to go pheasant hunting. And collect a ton of wild game. Can you help us get started? Yeah, of course. First things first, though, have you taken hunter safety? You'll have to get certified before you can go out hunting. Oh, yeah. I took that course. Morgan, you should totally try it. There's so much useful information in there. He's right. When you take hunter safety, you'll learn all the laws of hunting. You'll also learn how to be a safe and responsible hunter, which will keep yourself and others safe in the field. Uh, guys, that's cool, but I can't drive. How am I supposed to get there? Oh, don't worry. I'll show you how to sign up. It's super easy. So if you go to the DNR website and you search hunter safety, you can actually Take the course online. When you go into the course, you'll be able to sign up and get started. You can stop and save as many times as you want, and then after you've finished it online, you just have to do the field day. This looks like a perfect match for you, Morgan. Huh, now this I can handle. Come on, Seth, we got a study party to kick off. I'll help you out. Thanks, Nicole. Yep, have fun, guys. My mom helped me register for this course on huntered.com. Super easy. Now all we have to do is study and take the practical. And you have one of the best study buddies in the world right here. So what's the first subject? Um, tab K. Oh, each one of those letters stands for a key component of firearm safety. It's super important. It helps us have fun and be safe. All right, no peeking. What's letter T stand for? Treat every firearm as if it's loaded. Letter A. Always keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction. What about letter B? B is beware of your target and beyond. And letter K? Keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. Oh yeah, you got it. We'll have a safe pheasant hunt in no time. Okay, Sad, your turn. Riddle me this. Back in the 1800s, people used to commercially harvest wild game. It was out of control. But now, hunting helps conserve wildlife populations. So how do you think hunters know the healthy amount of wild game they can collect from the environment? Well, I think that's what regulations are for. They're basically hunting laws. Responsible hunters always check up on them. You can find out how many of a species you're allowed to take. Nice job, Sherlock. Let's go check the hunting regulations right now. Yeah. So in Wisconsin, each person can harvest up to two pheasants per day. That's a good thing to know. You know what the best part about hunting is going to be? The meat we get. I mean, think about it. It's going to be all natural. There's no added preservatives or special hormones. I think the best part is going to be keeping the populations, you know, balanced and sustaining our families. Either way, we'll both do something good. Aw, uh, Cedric, I'm confused. This says hunters should develop a code of ethics, but I have no clue what this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't know what the hunter's ethical code is? <sighs> don't worry, buddy. I'll help you out. Here, think of this as an example. If you see your quarry too far out, should you take a shot at it? No, 
That could be dangerous. Good. And after you hunt on someone's property, you should you thank them or ignore them? Definitely thank them. So basically, ethical code is just hunters being respectful and responsible? Yes, and who should you be respectful to? We should be respectful to natural resources, other hunters, landowners, and non-hunters, so then we can have fun and be respectful to our environment and our community. Okay, buddy, I think you're ready to rock this test. Let's do this. Go, Morgan, woo-hoo! You got it, go, go, go. Go, Morgan, you got it, go. Yeah. Sorry, go, go Morgan, you, you got it. Almost done. Not yet, you still gotta hit the submit button. Hope I got it right. Here we go. Yeah, check this out. I aced the online test. Now I get to practice and demonstrate firearm safety with the experts. Let's ace this thing. There'll be two tests that you'll need to take today. You need to take a written test, and then you will be taking a one-on-one -on -one field test with one of the instructors. You have to pass both in order to get your certificate. We're gonna be going through field stations. You're gonna be handling the firearms that you need for that field test. Do you guys remember from the online class what the three main parts of a firearm are? Oh, I know this. If I remember, there's a stock, which you hold in your hands. The action, or where the ammunition is loaded, fired, and unloaded. And finally, the barrel, or where the shot travels down. Stock, action, barrel, very good. Hey, I got it right. Does anybody know their action types? Do you remember them? Semi-automatic. Semi-automatic, okay. How about this one? Lever action. Lever action. Very good, that's lever action. How about right here? Um. Very good. Great. Great. Very good. Bolt. Bolt action. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, mental check. If I was on a pheasant hunt, how would I load a firearm? Hmm. Well, first I should point the muzzle in a safe direction and put the safety in the safe position. Okay, next I have to open the action and make sure the barrel does not have any obstructions. Perfect. And just watch your finger around the trigger. You're doing great. Very good. Hmm. Then I need to load the correct ammunition into the firearm. Oh, I think he's talking about that right now. On the barrel, they're stamped and should say basic information about the firearm. So that tells you what type of bullet this firearm takes, OK? And then all your ammunition should also be stamped with that. So like on the shotgun ammunition, it just says the gauge, so 20 gauge on this one. Um, the only exception to that is a 22 bullet. So 22 bullets, you just have to know where a 22 bullet. So that is a 22. Okay, so that. this is really important. We need to match the size and type of shot to what's stamped on the barrel of the firearm. Just like he said, if we don't put the right kind of shot into the action, it could jam or damage the gun. Now that wouldn't be good. All right, Morgan, let's show them how to match them. 20. Yeah. And then it's also a 20. Perfect. So it fits. Yeah, perfect, yeah. There you go, nice. All right. So there's lots of different ways we can carry these firearms, and how you carry them is super important, especially when you're in a group. So there's six carries. I'll demonstrate how to do them. Then we'll hand everybody a firearm, and then you guys are going to go through, this, through the same carries, OK? Two-handed ready. Cradle, right? Elbow. Trail, OK? The next two I need to turn around. So I'm going to point the barrel up, turn around. I'm going to do the shoulder carry. So you're resting on your shoulder like that, OK? The last one, which I like to pair the shoulder carry with, is the sling carry. All right, so sling carry, shoulder carry, both involve your shoulder. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call out a 
Terry and I expect to see you turn and face the correct direction to make sure the guns are pointing in a safe direction towards this wall. Okay, if that makes sense? All right, so let's go with the cradle carry. Remember, watch your muzzle, make sure we don't point at anybody, make sure you're facing the right way. The left hander is going to be the opposite of everybody else. Okay, picture this. Say we're out pheasant hunting in a line. Everyone's muzzles should be pointed in a safe direction. The people on the side should have their guns facing away from everyone, while the person in the middle keeps their muzzle pointed straight up. But watch out, if someone gets out of line, be prepared to change your carry to a safer one. Okay, this is zones of fire. You saw somebody out here like this with their hands, and they said it was a 45 degree angle uh, as your zone of fire. So if I ask you what is your zone of fire, you would say what? 45. 45. If someone was on your left? 45. If someone was on both sides? 45. You all pass. <laughs> all right, but there's more to it than that. He's so right. Your safe zone of fire can change with every step. And if your hunting partner steps in front of you, they may be walking right into your zone of fire. Uh-oh. So it's critical you are always aware of your partner's location. And if you can't see them, be vocal to find out where they are. Morgan, are you ready to demonstrate what you learned today? Yes, I am so ready. Very good. OK, what's the first thing that you do when you pick up a firearm? Make sure that it is unloaded. Very good. What are the three basic parts of the firearm? The stock, action, and barrel. Very good. Can you pick out the correct ammunition for that here? Very good. Can you load it? Yes, I can. Excellent job. Hey, this isn't going too bad. Now I have to take a written test. Wish me luck. All done. OK, Morgan. Oh, hey, congratulations. Looks like you passed the test. Well done. Really? Yeah, you did great. Here is your temporary certificate, and there's your patch. Look! I did it! I cannot wait to go pheasant hunting with my family. And I know just the place. Cedric is going to freak. Oh, that's awesome. Do you know what type of gun you're going to use? Yeah, of course. Shotgun. All right, well yeah. done, well done. Thank you. See you around, Mike. Hey, no problem. Have a good one. Whoa, Morgan, a shooting range? Now this is legit. Yeah, we have to find out if we can actually hit a target. And what better way to do that than with some safety instructors? Oh, hey, I think that's them over there. Come on. Hey, guys. Hey, I can't wait to learn more about shotguns. Oh, that's great. What have you already learned about firearm safety? Ha, we could give you a crash course on that. And you might want to pay attention. This info could save a life. Well, online we learned about the four basic rules of firearm safety. Treat every firearm as if it is loaded. Always keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction, never at anyone. Be sure you can identify your target and what's beyond, because shot can travel really far. And lastly, always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot, because we don't want to hurt anyone. That's exactly right. Looks like you've got it. Let's go shoot some clays. So firstly, it's very important to protect your ears and your eyes, so we have some earmuffs and glasses for you. Ooh, me likey. What'd you say? I can't hear a thing. Next, we should determine your eye dominance. A little trick that we have is to hold a small triangle out with your hands and focus on an object in the distance. Slowly bringing your hands back, your hands will naturally shift to your dominant eye, mine being the right. Oh, hey, I think I'm a righty. Right on. So first you want to learn how to check how the gun is empty, which will be shown through the empty action here. A safety, which will be down at the bottom on this gun, which is on and off. And then when we pass the gun, we make sure that we say we got it. I got it. Your next step will be getting your stance down. You will want to have your feet shoulder width apart, and you want to make sure that your feet are stable, so 60 and 40. So bring your gun up to that pocket between your shoulder and your arm and make sure your finger is off the trigger guard. When you're aiming and leading, you want to make sure that you're swiveling at the hips and not your arms. 
Your last step is your sighting. I recommend closing one eye to focus in on your target, but if you're more comfortable, you can keep both eyes open. I'm gonna use two eyes. I think I'll use one eye. It's completely your choice. Thanks, Chloe. I think you guys are ready. Awesome, let's get these clays rolling. All right, get in position. Wait forward on your left foot. When you're ready, say pull. Pull. Whoa, nice shot. Pull. That's Congratulations. Two two. Ooh, nice shot. Whoa, these things got some kick. What makes shotguns so special for hunting game birds? Well, the shotgun has BBs in it instead of a single slug. The BBs go out, they spread out, so you have a wider area in order to hit the bird with. Well, that makes sense. Okay, get in a good position again. And remember, you gotta shoot slightly above the target or at the target or slightly above. Pull. <laughs> Rock that one. Maybe you'll get that one next time. Pull. Yay, good shot. Man, this is gonna definitely help with my hand-eye reflexes. Yeah, it also helps to build your confidence throughout life. I don't leave more than a chance at this. I think that's a good idea. <laughs> when you load, hold it like this, keeping it pointed up. Put your shell in, just drop it in. You don't have to worry about anything else and press the button, the shotgun will automatically load it. Now, get in a good shooting position. I'm gonna shoot shoulder width apart, sight down the barrel, and when you're ready, say pull. Pull. Nice shot. Got it. <laughs> hey, Cedric, do you think I could beat your record? Not a chance. Pull. That one exploded. Keep that up and you might be able to go to the Olympics. <gasps> really? Really. Pull. Hey, nice job. Did you see that? Pull. Oh, we got that one. Oh man, she might actually beat me. Better watch out, I'm coming for you Olympics. Nice job. That's how you do it. You guys are ready for the next level. That means we get to go pheasant hunting, Morgan. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for helping us today. You're welcome. So did you guys learn anything else about safety? I learned so much more about the importance of keeping the gun located in your shoulder. And I learned that you want to make sure you follow through after you shoot. And you want to know what the best part is? We can hunt more than just pheasants. We can apply the skills we learned today to hunt other game bird species. Yeah, like grouse, turkey, waterfall. There's so many game bird adventures you can try in shooting sports. Just ask these nonprofit organizations to help you get started. Thing to keep in mind is when you're out pheasant hunting, that things are gonna come at you fast. You gotta concentrate on your safety. Will do, coach. Come on, Cedric, we have some pheasants to catch. Hey, hey wait! With our shotgun instruction complete, Cedric and I are now ready to go on our pheasant hunting quest. And we discovered the perfect place to do it. Pheasant hunting preserves are managed for multiple shooting sport opportunities and are great places for beginners to hunt in a safe, controlled environment while also reinforcing safety. When you swing, this is your field of fire right here. Don't swing your gun past anybody's head. Keep your gun up and make sure there's space. You wanna be able to see air between the bird and the cover. Any questions? Okay, let's go have a good hunt. All right, Cedric, remember, always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction and finger outside the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Two all set. Are you kidding, Dad? We are so ready. Yeah, we already got our hunting licenses and pheasant stamps. And on special preserves, like this one, we are legally allowed to harvest more than the state daily bag limit of pheasants. Let's go have some fun. 
remember. Male pheasants have green heads, red faces, white rings around their neck, and longer tail feathers. They like to hide in the grass, and during the fall, they like to roost in farm fields, so I think we're on the right track. Guys, I think I see one. We got a broody dog right here, guys. <laughs> Woo! Good job. Nice one, said. You got it. Thanks, Morgan. I think it landed over here somewhere. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, there it is. Here, let me uh, check this. Got it. Wow, look at this, Morgan. It's so pretty. This is what all that hard work was for, man. Look at those feathers. Wow. That is a nice pheasant. Nice job, Cedric. Thanks, Morgan. You know what? Let's go get some more. It was exhilarating to get that first bird. And I know that I'm helping out wildlife conservation too. So that's a big plus. So we're gonna go ahead and get back over by the corn. We're gonna walk up to this edge and we're gonna go that way and come back down the other side. Ah, that'll be a good bird. Congratulations on the bird. Thank you. But what else is there to know about these kinds of birds? Well, they're not native to North America. They were introduced in the 1800s, and uh, now they're, they're a pretty popular game bird throughout the Midwest, and there's a lot of protein and iron in a bird like this that keeps your body healthy. Well, that's a plus. Oh, and I bet they're a great way for us to get exercise and have fun with our families. You betcha. Well, we can't stop now, guys. Let's keep going. Ooh, look at the doggy doggies. Oh, man, I think Uno might actually have something. Say hello to Uno. He is a setter dog, and he is a great companion to have on a pheasant hunt. Not only can he pick up the scent of birds, but when he stiffens, he's pointing you in the right direction. Let's go get him, buddy. I started hunting when I was 12 years old and I've loved it ever since. And now I get to go with my daughter. It makes it even better. How do you think we're doing, Brian? Doing really good. OK, you're going to go just right next to the sorghum over there, just on the other side of it. And there's kind of a trail there. Here! You see how his tail got wagging? There's some bird up there. So get ready. There goes one. Rooster, rooster, rooster. You got this, Dad. Come on. Nice job. That'll be a great pheasant. Come on, Cedric. You got to be ready. You got to be ready. You know, I never realized it until I got out here. I'm part of the North American model of wildlife conservation. By purchasing my hunting license and other equipment, I'm helping to fund the conservation of wildlife and habitats around the country. Oh, hey, I think the dog's on point. I gotta go. So we've seen one come into there. I think I see one way up there. Stay focused, Morgan. If Sedger can do it, I can do it. There he is, there he is, there he is. We did it, we did it, we did it. Nice job, Morgan. Nice. Gosh. Good job, you did it perfectly. Whoa, Dad, look, we got one together. Great job, I'm proud of you. Thank Remembered you. all your safety and everything. And I bet it'll be even more special because you know where he came from. Yeah, of course. Today I felt like my mind was more aware than usual and I felt more engaged in the wildlife. I loved hunting pheasants today. It's a great way for us to take what nature provides for us, but with low impacts. Yeah, you were both very safe today. I'm proud of that. Glad you took hunter safety and learned the ways to do it. Dad, we need to go hunting again. I love this so much. I can't wait to go again. Yup. 
It wasn't long after hunting with Cedric that I could finally go hunting on wildlands across the country with my family. And now I'm a real locavore. Being able to feed your own family sustainable wild resources feels so rewarding. You are not only helping each other grow healthy, but you are also reconnecting to nature through conservation. And that feels pretty good to me. Did you ever wonder how you affect all the other life forms that share planet Earth? It's easy to discover the science of nature and the adventure that awaits you at IntoTheOutdoors.org. With just a few clicks, you'll find over a hundred environmental and science videos that will help answer some of life's biggest questions. Like what's the secret to all life on the planet? And to share the fun of learning with your entire classroom, have your teacher download the free educational videos and lesson activities at IntoTheOutdoors.org. organizations have provided funding for this Into the Outdoors television series.